What's up Smart Homers? My name's Aaron. In today's video, I want to show you a great way to bring a favorite spring activity of mine into Home Assistant. Press start. As a stereotypical dad, I love to grill, but often it's more of an art than a science when it comes to grilling steak or pork. While that works most of the time, having a meat thermometer ensures that I'm cooking it the same and properly every time. In this video, I want to show you the Inkbird 6 Pro Barbecue Meat Thermometer and how to add it to Home Assistant. Full disclosure, I did reach out to Inkbird to see if they'd send me one of these for review and they were happy to oblige, no strings attached. The Inkbird IBT6SS is a Bluetooth device that can connect to your phone via their BBQ Go app. The device features six probe ports, which are 3.5 millimeter jacks, a USB type C charging port, and a digital display. The display is black with red numbers, and it's bright enough where it's legible even in the sunlight. The bottom edge of the display also has a button on it. Holding down the button turns on the device, and double tapping it flips the display readout upside down. This is handy because you might have the device oriented in different ways. The body of the device comes in either red or black, and also comes with a base that the device can be set in. The base has a magnet in it, so it can be stuck to the side of your grill or other magnetic surface. From my experience though, if the vertical surface that you wanna stick this to is not rough or textured, the device tends to slide down and doesn't stick nicely. You do also have to be careful that the surface you put it on isn't hotter than 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit because it could damage the device. The device has a 1000 milliamp hour battery which should last about 40 hours according to Inkbird. The device also comes with that USB-C charging cable as I mentioned and six probes, each with a cable length of 47 inches. This device also comes with some little clips that can be attached to your grill grate and then you can slide the temperature probes into those clips to keep your probes positioned properly. Five of the probes are seven and a half inch pointed probes for piercing meat and one of them is a three and a half inch round tip sensor. I'm guessing this is for checking the temperature of liquids like soups or stews. The manufacturer says that they have a temperature accuracy of plus or minus 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit or plus or minus one degrees Celsius. The only part of that probe that actually does the temperature sensing is that skinny part right near the tip. So you wanna make sure that part of the probe is buried in the thickest part of the meat when you're doing your grilling or barbecuing. These probe cables should also not be exposed to direct flame and they can't be put in water because they're not waterproof. The BBQ Go app allows you to set timers and temperature limits for each probe, which will cause the device to emit an alarm when it reaches a time limit or the temperature set in the app. The app also has preset temperatures for various meats, but these can be adjusted if you want. I'm not gonna get too into the details of the app because I really just wanna get into how to integrate it with Home Assistant. Before you can integrate this into Home Assistant, you need to make sure that your device is Bluetooth compatible and that you have the Bluetooth low energy monitor integration from the Home Assistant community store installed in Home Assistant. If you're using a Raspberry Pi 4, it will have Bluetooth built in, but if you're using something else like the Home Assistant Blue, like I'm using, you can get a cheap USB Bluetooth dongle, plug that in with a little USB extender and you'll have Bluetooth capability. I'll leave links to those because that's what I'm using in my main setup. Once that integration's installed though, you'll be set to add this device pretty quickly. Turn on your device and then go to the devices and services page in Home Assistant and under the Bluetooth low energy monitor, go ahead and click devices. Here you'll see a list of devices listed by Mac address, but you'll also see the manufacturer of each device. There should be one by Inkbird there, so you go ahead and click that. In the device info page, you're gonna see six sensors corresponding to the six probe channels on the device. When not plugged in, the probe temperature reads 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. It's kind of weird that it reads 32 or zero and it doesn't read just no value, but that's not a big deal. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it to add it to Home Assistant. So you're probably gonna ask me, Aaron, why would you add this to Home Assistant? And my answer is, why not? 
If you're into smoking meat or cooking larger chunks of meat than the thin little steaks that I cooked in this video, then you're definitely gonna wanna be able to track that temperature. In cases where you're cooking meat low temperature and slow for a long amount of time, it's great to be able to monitor that temperature remotely. Having this data recorded to Home Assistant, you can make audio notifications with your Google or Amazon speakers, and you can make notifications right on your phone with the companion app. If you start smoking or cooking something and you need to run to the store, you don't have to worry about it. You can monitor the temperature the whole time you're gone. If you wanna start some meat cooking and leave it unattended, you can do that and have Home Assistant notify you when it's reached a certain temperature. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed those ribeye steaks. And if you wanna see more like it, hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when my next video comes out. And as always, thanks for watching. That steak yummy?